have a problem with authority, Mr. Anderson. You believe that you are special, that somehow the rules do not apply to you. Obviously, you are mistaken. This company is one of the top software companies in the world because every single employee understands that they are part of a whole. Thus, if an employee has a problem, the company has a problem. The time has come to make a choice, Mr. Anderson. Either you choose to be at your desk on time from this day forth, or you choose to find yourself another job. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Mr. Reinhardt, perfectly. Now, Mr. Bemis, I shall come to the point of this interview. I shall arrive via the following route, which is namely, what constitutes an efficient member of this organization? Viz, a bank teller who knows his job and performs it. I.e., an organization man who functions within an organization. You, Mr. Bemis, do not function within the organization. You are neither an efficient bank teller nor a proficient employee. You, Mr. Bemis, are a reader. A, a reader? A reader. Yes. A reader of books, magazines, periodicals, newspapers. I see you constantly going downstairs into the vault during your lunch hour. Uh, Automated, uh, Mr. Bemis. Yes, sir. You will henceforth devote your time to your job and forget reading, or you'll find yourself outdoors on a park bench reading from morning till night for want of having a job. Do I make myself perfectly clear? Oh, that's perfectly clear, sir. It's just that, uh... Just that what, Bemis? Make it quick and get back to your cage. No, <clears throat> it's just that my wife won't let me read at home. See, so when I get home at night and try to pick up a newspaper, she yanks it out of my hand. And then after dinner, if I try to find a magazine, she hides them. Well, it's, I got so desperate that I found myself trying to read the, the labels on the condiment bottles on the table. Now, 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 she won't even let me use the ketchup. Unasked, I give my reaction to this. Your wife is an amazingly bright woman. I remember last November you spent the better part of the days reading campaign buttons on customers' lapels. You will recall, Bemis, the young lady who took considerable exception to this and tried to hit you with her umbrella. Yes, I, I remember that. Uh, it's just that I never got a chance to tell her that I was only looking to see who she voted for. Good day, Bemis. Thank you.